Hi, I'm Lucia and today we are going to paint a snowy landscape. We are going to paint with acrylic but using a lot of water. So it looks like watercolor. As you can tell, it's a drawing that's a little more complicated than the ones we've done in the past. I've put below uh, in the description a downloadable file that you can download to draw and also, if you'd like, you can use carbon paper. So you'd have to put the watercolor paper and then the carbon paper and then on top the downloadable file that I have below. And then you can draw it in pencil. And then that drawing will be traced below. So this is for people who maybe have never painted before. So we're gonna have some fun and do something simple. And so now you can see the skeleton of the, the painting. And then we can paint and have fun because that's what these videos are for, is to enjoy ourselves. And we can all learn no matter what level we're on. If you've never painted or if you've painted a lot before, we're just going to try to disconnect, enjoy, and bring a little bit of peace to our mind. Maybe in a stressful day. Or if we want to just try something different. See, is this a landscape full of snow? What I love about winter is that the sky is so beautiful with, with blues and pinks. So we're going to make the sky with those colors. The trees are going to be with a really dark brown. We're going to put here like a zone with a certain kind of brown. And for the rest of them, it's all going to be white. And so we want to make one little section to where it's like a walking section. But we want it to look like a, a snowy landscape. So we're not going to touch the background of the paper. I'm going to work uh, in acrylic, not as if it was watercolor, but something that's got more water to it. If you have watercolor in your house, you could perfectly do this kind of landscape, just like I'm going to show you, because it's going to be full of water. The colors we're going to use are magenta. Blue, white, primary yellow, and just a little bit of black. It's important that close to you, you've got a, a little piece of watercolor paper to make sure that when we mix, that you have the color that you want before you put it on the final drawing. These are the brushes I'm gonna use. One that's really thin and some that are thicker. So we're gonna start with color. First I'm gonna do a, a pink with just a little bit of white. I'm also going to make an orange with magenta and yellow. And then a light blue with white and just a little bit of blue. Every time I mix, when I finish, I always wash the brush and I dry it off. For the sky, 
I'm going to use a brush that's a little thicker. I'm going to put a little bit of water on the sky. Even on this part where the trees will be also. So I'm going to add a little light blue. I love it because when I put the paint on it, water does its work on its own. So we need to let the paint do its work on its own. So now I'm going to use a little bit of pink too in some parts. There's a mosquito there bugging me. A little bit of orange. And now I'm going to put a little bit of yellow with a lot of water. Now with just a little bit of water, I'm going to add a little bit here so that the colors mix together a little more. And now we've got our sky. Now we're going to do a brown with a little orange. So I'm going to start with yellow, magenta, and br uh, blue. I want it to be a little bit darker, so I'm going to put a little bit of black. I put too much, so... I got to put some more paint. Okay, I'm going to have these two browns. One's lighter with a little bit of orange and one a little darker. As y'all can see, I'm using a lot of water. More than other videos. Because I want the result to be almost like watercolor. So with this color, I'm going to paint here. I'm going to put a little bit of water so it can mark the way. I'm going to put this lighter brown now I'm going to put a little bit of water and in some parts I'm going to put a little bit, bit of this brown I'll only deposit the paint on the edges. I deposit just a little bit of paint and I let the water do its work. With this light brown, I'm gonna put a little bit more here. Just some fresh brush strokes here. And that's it. I want the, the sky is seen just a little bit in this area. So we're gonna do something similar that we did in that part over here so I'm gonna add a little water first and now with a little bit of paint a uh, pink I deposit a little bit of paint a little bit of orange and just a little bit of light blue in this part I want to make some mountains, so I'm going to use a little bit of water. I wet down where I want the mountains to go. And then with the darker brown that we did, I deposit a little bit of paint on the edges here. So the paint will go down like you see here. So as you see with the water, it starts to trickle down. I'm going to take a finer brush to start to do some of the trees. So I'm going to take this darker brown 
I'm going to give it a little bit of black to make it a little darker. And I'm going to start with these trunks. You have to make sure that the paint is dry before you start painting this part. So make sure that the paint is dry before you start with this. So these are really thin lines. I'm going to make some blotches here in the top part. Here I'm going to make some more blotches with the same color and with some water now. This drawing is going to have various layers. So we'll go from the lighter tones to the darker tones. As we go finishing our painting, we'll start to have stronger colors and tones. Here's some really thin lines for the branches and the trunks. Seeing as the branches on the trees aren't all the same or perfect, you can do them however you can. Don't be afraid. Just make sure that they're thin. And remember, no branches are ever perfect. So you can play around with it. Now I'm going to do these trunks and branches here in the back. So we make vertical lines. And here we can make more blotches instead of little lines. And we add a little bit of water. We're going to mark lines here where the trees are. And then with just a little bit of water, we're not going to paint anything here because we're going to imagine that that's a snowy area. So now that this part's dry, we're going to do the same with the same dark brown. The one we did before, but with just a little bit of black. And with a good bit of water. And here's where we'll make the branches on the top. Now we're going to make these trees the same with a lot of lines. And now we're going to use darker tones with just a little bit black. See that I'm using a lot of water. Now with this color, I'm going to give just one more touch to these trees and only the trunk, just a part of the trunk. Since this is the first tree, I'm going to add this darker tone a little bit higher than the rest. Especially the, one, the branches that are facing forward. With just a little bit more black, 
I'm gonna give it one more little touch with watery paint without adding too much like you see here. In these trees also, I'm gonna give that really dark color just on the trunk. And I'm gonna do the same with these trees. just to give it a little bit of color. Now we're gonna give it a third layer. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect because a perfect tree trunk doesn't exist. Now I'm going to do some more branches on the bottom to give it a little bit more profoundness. Now I'm going to use this color with a little bit more water. I'm going to add uh, a little bit here at the bottom of the mountain. A lot of water. And here also, I'm going to add a line in the, in the ground below the trees with some really thin blotches. Little by little, I go adding water and it starts to grow. And here I'm going to do the same thing. Now add a little water and it'll expand a little bit. With a pencil, I'm going to trace some lines. And with a little bit of water and with a thicker brush, I wet the paper where the lines are. And with the same tone, the dark one, with a lot of water, I'm going to trace a line. And with a little bit of water, I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to do a new brown with yellow, magenta, blue, and just a little black. Now it doesn't have as much water. It has water, but it doesn't have as much as before. So I'm gonna add another layer to the trees because I wanna add a little bit more tone to it. Here, I uh, went a little too far, so I'm going to use a little water to fix it. Since it's more than I wanted, I'm going to take it off with a rag. And when it dries, I'll fix it up. I'm not going to touch these trees because I want them to look like they're a little bit farther away. And this one I'm going to bring down just a little bit. With a little bit of water, I'm going to add to this line with that dark color and being very careful. We're going to add just a little bit of intensity here. All 
I'm going to add another layer to the sky. So we're going to water down a little bit of the sky. Now I'm going to add a little bit of orange. A little bit of light blue. And a little bit of pink. And here I'm going to add a little yellow. And that's it. Now we've finished. Let's wait till it dries. And after we'll erase the, the pencil lines that you can still see. And at the end we'll sign. So I'm going to erase the lines here that we don't want to see in pencil now that it's dry. And since I made them really light, it's really easy to erase now. I'm going to show you a little trick so you can see how amazing it is. It ends up looking when we add a mat and later we would put a frame around it. So I'm going to add a mat. So I'm going to sign it here since I have the mat here. And that's how our snowy landscape looks. Thank you so much for watching the video, so if you enjoyed it, like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you soon!